Today I'm going to show you how to remove the background motion from an ODS video. Um, so you can see here we've got this video, uh, we've got an engine vibrating, um, and we've got some sort of noise in the background, especially up, up here, um, back here we've got a little bit too. Um, and so we want to remove that. Uh, just kind of focus on the engine's motion only. Uh, you know, get this stuff that we don't want out of our data. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the animate relative to point uh, functionality, which is going to essentially uh, average the motion of all the points that you select and then subtract that from the total motion. Um, so that's very useful, for example, if you have a uh, big structure and you have something that's attached to it and they're both animating, um, but you want to focus on the, the small thing that's attached to it, uh, you're going to be able to zero out that large structure and just see what the smaller structure is doing. Um, but regardless of your use case, uh, it's pretty easy to do this here. So um, basically we're going to go to the deflection menu. Uh, we're going to click relative to points and then this is going to allow us to select points that we want to zero out or animate relative to um, and we can do this the conventional way by clicking or drawing a box around points um, or we can use the outline area of interest tool. Uh, so this is going to essentially allow you to draw a polygon around something that you want to keep and everything outside of that will be selected and zeroed out. So uh, we're going to use that and to do that we're just going to start clicking points on the screen. Um, we're just going to draw an outline of the engine and we're just going to try to get all the points that we want to keep inside this polygon and once we have that um, we're going to go back to the first point and we're going to get a green line and that means that when we click this we're going to complete the polygon. I um, also want to point out that if you draw something like this or if you try to draw something like this it's not going to let you do this. Um, going through another line. This is obviously not a valid polygon. Um, so you can click as much as you want, but it's not going to work. Uh, so we're looking for that green line here. And we click that and we get uh, all these points selected. So now we're going to start animation back up. And sure enough, we have no motion on these selected points and our only motion is here on the engine. So um, now, you know, we can, we can look at this and it looks nice and everything, but we really want to make this uh, sort of permanent. We want to reflect this in the data. We want to um, get all this noise out of that data. So the way we're going to do that is go back to the deflection menu and right next to the relative to points command, we have the save modified source command. And so that is going to just generate a new structure and a time data block. And then if you would like, uh, we're going to generate a frequency data block as well. So we'll just click OK there. And our structure and blocks are generated. And now let's double check here. Um, and we do have no motion going on back here, uh, only motion is happening where we want it and uh, you know if we try these frequency uh, spikes here that we get really nice clean motion here just the engine vibrating with none of the noise in the background and that is how you remove the background motion from an ODS video.